Today, I've got some leaks for the episode 60 update in Toilet Tower Defense. So this is gonna be a very big update, and I'm not gonna say every single thing we're adding in this video. So that a little bit of it's still a surprise, but first, let's start off with the new toilets. So very first toilet is the Scientist Toilet. So as you can see here, he actually has the same speaker thing as the Titan Cinema Man, and he has two arms, two like shoulder pads. He's a pretty strong toilet. He's also probably like the largest toilet at least one of the largest toilets so he's definitely like really strong so for that reason this is gonna be the new final boss so every update pretty much we're having a new final boss so there's a new strongest toilet so anyways of course this will be at the end of toilet hq and that also means toilet hq is just gonna get a little harder second toilet is the laser ufo toilet so this is basically just the ufo toilet as you can see it actually is the ufo toilet but this time well instead of that small laser like if you just look at the UFO toilet. Oh, he just disappeared for a second. Okay, well, his laser is not really that strong. Like, he only stuns your units for maybe two seconds, and it has very, very little range. So, this is basically like the upgraded UFO toilet. That's what some people call it. I'm just gonna call it the laser UFO toilet, because, like, instead of just being like a UFO toilet, he has like a pretty strong laser. But the UFO toilet's damage is probably gonna be reduced a little bit, because right now he one shots the city at the end. But this new laser UFO toilet will have more more range, stun your units for longer, and probably gonna just replace the later waves UFO toilets with these, but not as many though, like probably for every two UFO toilets and later waves we'll just have one of these so that it doesn't make toilet HQ harder, it just replaces some of the older toilets with the newer toilets in the last waves. Then the third toilet is a really interesting one, so here you can see we have the claw toilet, and you actually can't see because this is a picture from the front, but on his back he actually has another claw, so he basically has has two claws and one sword. So the way this guy is gonna work is he can actually hold your units with his claws and of course they're gonna be stunned because like they can't attack when he's attacking them with the claws. Then he also has a sword. So it's kind of similar to the parasite toilet where it's gonna be on your unit but instead of only titans like the parasite toilet this one's gonna be like on large and titan units. So unless you're using small units like the jetpack cameraman he's not gonna be happy but basically he can hit toilet with, or not toilets, but he can hit your units with a sword while he is already stunning another unit with his claws. So yeah, this is a pretty strong toilet right here. It's not gonna spawn that often because of how strong it is, but like, it's gonna be pretty cool. And hopefully if we have enough time, we can like add animations and add everything else to it to make it look cool. So a lot of people have been asking when the update's gonna be coming out and I'd have to say either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. For me right now, it's later in the day on September. September 3rd, so on September 4th or 5th at about 10 a.m. PST, because that's the time we normally update, the update will be out. So it could be tomorrow, could be the day after tomorrow, it just depends on how long things take. But we'll try to get a timer out as soon as possible so you guys can like see guaranteed when the update's gonna come out, because we usually have a timer over this area at the spawn. But another really big thing, okay, I said that I'd add this, so it's not exactly a new leak, but we actually do have it confirmed, and we even have the portal. So it is the portal to the trade plaza and here it is you guys can see it's pretty cool It will be by the summon units thing it's like the update display things on the left So the trade plaza portal is just gonna be on the right over here because there's a bit of extra space So like you can see in the picture you just climb up the stairs and then you're gonna be able to teleport there Basically the same menu is gonna pop up like with the afk farm how it says teleport right here You just stand on it and you can press teleport to go to the trade plaza So already lobbies like all servers like this have 50 player maximums and it doesn't really lag on Roblox's side like Roblox is able to handle 50 players with how much we currently have in the game like we just have teleports really in the lobby so trade plazas aren't even gonna have teleports so it's gonna be hopefully not laggy at all we're gonna try having a hundred player maximums in trade plazas but if that's too much we might lower it a little bit because of that we're gonna make the trade plaza really big so right now we kind of just have a temporary trade plaza like a really Really well detailed high quality trade plaza will be coming very soon but let me show you guys so here's actually what the trade plaza currently looks like now there's a fountain and then just a lot of areas to go to we have stairs that go up and just it's a pretty big area now we're not adding any new features to trading yet you also have some pretty cool features like benches but um you can't sit on them yet maybe we're gonna add them in the sitting on benches update yep that's our next update 
update, then <laughs> we have some trees. Like, this is pretty nice. But of course, in the future, we do plan on adding a bit more. Like, we definitely want to add trading booths so that you can just sell your stuff. But to add booths, we would have to add another currency, which, which could be coming in this update. We're not adding booths yet, but we are adding a new currency. And all of this is going to be a secret for now. But we have a lot planned for it, like the next few updates, besides like the new toilets and stuff we add, we'll try working on some different ways to get that currency that are fun. And we're just working on a lot of stuff that is very frequently suggested. Like in the beginning of the game, stuff like Titan Cameraman, Mythics, and Trading were our largest suggestions, but we've added all of those. So now we're just working on continuing adding things that people want to see in the game. Also, last update, we were working on a lot because it was like the trading update. So we didn't add animations for this guy yet, but now the Quad Rocket Mutant Toilet, watch this, he has an animation for his arms where they just do that. He has an animation for the rockets where they all just launch. He even has an animation for the laser where like it fires that too. Since the last update with trading was pretty big, we didn't have any new units since like the main focus of the update was adding trading, but now we're gonna actually have some new units in this update. I'm not gonna show them yet though, it is going to be completely a surprise. Another hint is that the way they work is like different from the way all other units work right now. Like it's kind of a whole new type of unit, not like a new rarity, but you know how they're like normal units and then AOE units? Well, these are pretty interesting. Okay, I was editing the video and then I decided why not give the scientist a beard? So now look at him. Kind of has like a beard and a mustache now and this makes sense because he's probably older than all the other toilets. I'm not too sure how long it will take, but after trading, of course, we're going to add booths and we should probably also add a trading history. I mean, we could probably put a button for it, like by the search. So like the username bar could go up to just like right here and then there could be a trade history button. Because a lot of people have been asking for that, but I think once we have a new currency, trading is going to be a lot better because right now all people who are making value lists are saying values in coins, but like you can't actually trade coins. So a new currency will make values much easier and much more stable in my opinion. We were thinking about some sort of global marketplace for units, which would be really cool because it'd be kind of like a catalog, but I've read about games that had global marketplaces before and it is extremely hard to pull off. Like it takes a really, really long to make. So if we did ever add something like that, it would be really far in the future because it's just really hard to make to make sure that like stuff doesn't get duplicated, disappear, people between different servers get the unit they got or the diamonds they sold it for. Like it's just very, very complicated and hard to do in Roblox. So it would take a long time, but it's been suggested a lot. And I think personally that it's a pretty good idea. So that is a possibility in the future. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. So subscribe with notifications on, like the video, but thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.